Hi Taurus, I'm Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and welcome to this week's reading. And this week's reading is for the 24th to the 1st of um, March 2020. I hope you've had a wonderful week and a wonderful day so far. And if you're new, please hit the subscribe button just below the video and the bell, then you'll be notified when I go live or when the new videos are loaded up. I go live every night and give out free cards. There is also Super Chat or Super Stickers available. Um, and if you use Super Chat or Super Stickers, then I will answer your specific question uh, with three cards and an Oracle card. Right, and welcome back, my Cyber Angels, my true and faithful followers. I'm very grateful that you've, um, you come back and you are also part of why I do this because you make the channel what it is together with me and the other Cyber Angels viewers for those that don't know what Cyber Angels are. Right, let's get started with your reading and you can also find information in the description box in how to get in contact with me or with the website and also um, in this corner right here you will find a, a little white circle and that if you click on that it will take you straight through to the website. The first card you have is the High Priestess and the High Priestess is a lady that is uh, very mysterious, spiritual, and she is also um, a, a, a lady that does not say very much, as she usually has the scroll of life, and you can see the scroll here uh, of life. She knows everything about life because she moves between um, the, uh, the underground and the earth, the, between the two worlds. And, she, and that's uh, because she's uh, mysterious and keeps secrets. Um, she also um, is allowed to enter the, uh, um, the dark earth. How do, you, how do you call it? The underworld. That's it, the underworld. And of course, um, she is a very wise woman. She will only uh, come out and say something when asked and whether she, when she thinks she has something worthwhile to say. Your intuition might be heightened or your emotions might be heightened on Monday, Taurus. And she also represents the moon. So you might even meet a cancer on Monday. This could be a lady or it could be a, a man because the cards don't specific, spe specify sex, all right? It could be a spiritual man with a very feminine and emotional side to him. And so he is a very nurturing and loving man. He's got a gentle side to him. And this could be... Uh, to do with balance. So you might seek advice from a, a person um, and about balancing because balancing is also something to do with your feelings between your heart and your mind or your heart and soul or perhaps balancing between home and the work front. On Wednesday you've got the world Taurus and the world means you've got the world in your hands. You, can, you might be moving home, you might be going on holiday, um, your relationship might go up a next level. This is also my karma card, what comes round goes round, what goes up must come down. The world also goes round and round. So if you've done good, uh, then it will come back to you threefold. If you've done bad, it will also come back threefold. But if somebody else has done you wrong or done you right, they will get it back threefold too. But the world is your oyster. There is a new beginning. You are closing off a face, face and you're moving on into a new phase of life. 
and I think that is also what you want because there is a wish or a goal as you have the magician and that is number one so that is a new beginning you've got everything it takes to make it um, uh, come to life and into materialism it will happen and that you could uh, motivate that uh, by making a vision, visionary board and get pictures from internet or old magazines and stick this visionary board somewhere that you can see it every day sometimes a couple of couple of times in the day so that you are manifesting and visualizing it into the world so that it comes to you much sooner and quicker it might actually happen on wednesday on Friday, you have the two of uh, ten of swords. The ten of swords is not a very nice card. It could mean that something is being cut off. Somebody could have been nasty, stabbed you in the back, or gossiped about you, and something is finished. Like I said, you've got the will. You've got a, you're finishing a phase. You're having a new beginning, and on this could happen on Wednesday. Or even on Friday you definitely want to move on because you've got these new beginnings okay there is more new beginnings and it could be on the job front uh, but remember you might also have backache because you see these swords in her back I'll just lift it up again so that you can see it just in case so um, you might have backache for instance and this is hypothetical you might have worked in the healthcare or in a job that you had to lift uh, an awful lot and you can't anymore because um, you've got backache from doing this it's too heavy you want to move on to a newer job an other job and you've got the ace of ones here and that means new beginnings and the ones stand for hobby or a job because creativity is a hobby and activity is a job taking action to get a job so or you could uh, get started with that visionary uh, board to get it into the now this ASAP or you might be meeting a, a Sagittarius, Aries or a Leo on Friday. At the weekend you've got the Eight of Cups and the Eight of Cups means that you want excitement, you want adventure. But with this card I always say it's great stuff to have a new start but don't throw away old shoes, um, don't throw away your job uh, before you have a new job because life goes on and the bills are, will come in. You might seek uh, official um, uh, advice because you've got the Hierophant. You might seek advice from a father figure or you might seek advice from um, a, a professional. This could be about a job. Uh, you could be seeing a, a career officer or a job consultant um, that is a consultant that helps you find another job or another alternative and the high priest is also Taurus so it could be with an other Taurian that you're uh, seeking advice from now because you've got the ten of swords and it's lying quite uh, close to the high event it could also be legal advice let's say um, the job that you were doing somebody stabbed you at the back in your back and gossiped about you and you got fired and you are seeking legal advice because you believe you were not in the wrong that is what could happen as well you definitely will be taking action because you've also got the ace of ones here and the hyphen lying next to it Okay, for the all over energy, you have the three of ones, again, making plans for the future, looking towards the future. Usually it's a man standing uh, with, um, uh, with his staff uh, on top of a cliff, looking down 
and seeing the boats coming in. Your abundance is coming in, okay? You have your plans are coming to fruition, and that is awesome. So the overall energy, this new beginning is coming in, and abundance is coming in. And here you've got the two of cups. So you might even meet a soulmate. Um, this could be an emotional balance. Here you are. You've been warned about your emotion, and that you um, and you could be meeting a cancer, as she represents the high priestess represents cancer. Here you are. You've got two cups. So you could be meeting a cancer and making a new fresh relationship or a new start in a partnership. It could be in business or in love, but you've got your emotions in balance. Definitely at the end of the week. Now we have the... Um, just having a look. So you could be meeting a cancer or a fire sign, awesome, or a, an other tourist, tourist, as the hierophant represents tourist. For the answer of the angels, it says, listen to your intuition. And yes, it's all about intuition and emotions, a lot of it this week, so be careful what you say and how you say it. Don't, you know... Treat somebody the way you want to be treated. Don't treat somebody the way they treated you. Be the example. Stand above it. Listen to your intuition. Okay? Your intuition is completely reliable and accurate at this time. Listen to your own inner guidance and you can't go wrong. You can be certain that the messages you are receiving from the angels are real and trustworthy. Have faith in your feelings about the circumstances you're experiencing, your insights into other people and their true feelings or motives are perfectly accurate. There is no need to question what you know is true and that really goes for this card. If somebody's stabbed you in the back or if you've been made redundant for some reason or other and your intuition is saying this is not correct, then seek advice. Okay, now we've got the a card for surrender. Surrender to frustration. It can be frustrating if somebody's been nasty and you thought they were a good colleague or a friend. Frustration doesn't open any doors. The key to resolving a dilemma or dissolving a block is to take a deep breath, center yourself and regroup so you may approach the situation more calmly. Like I said, treat others as the way you would like to be treated. Be the example. Don't get frustrated. Okay, Taurus. Well, just to recap, you are moving on, you are closing off um, phases in your life because of the world, the Ten of Swords, because the Ten becomes a One, you are wishing here, and you've got the Three of Ones. You are seeing the changes coming in, okay? And you've got the Ace of Wands, which is also a new beginning, either with a beautiful new partner, a fire sign, or in a job or a hobby. And you've got the magician, which is also a number one. But maintain that balance, okay? Because emotionally, you are in balance. And it is the card for a soulmate. Okay, I hope you like this uh, reading, and I hope you enjoy your week. And please leave a reaction and give us the thumbs up and please share with family and friends. I am very grateful um, for all those that have done that. Always thank you. Take care and be blessed.